For practice at exercise 4.15, get grade, we're going to write a method called get grade. It'll accept an integer representing a student's grade in a course. So that means we're going to have a public static and we will we we were going to return something. We're going to return a double in this instance. So we're going to have double and then we are going to have it called get grade. Um, and we have a parameter. That parameter is going to be the uh, score that we have. We see that we are going to return this. And we're passed in the score ranging from 0 to 100. So inside of here, we are just going to pass an int score. And that's our method header. So inside of here, there's a few things that we need to do. There's a lot of cases. And for that, we are going to use a for loop. And for that, we're going to use multiple if statements or else if as well. So we also have a challenge down here. We need to make our method throw an illegal argument exception. That's the first thing we're going to do. We'll have if, and this is if our user passes a grade lower than zero or higher than 100. So if the score is less than zero, or if our score is greater than 100, we are going to be inside of this if statement, and we are going to throw a new illegal argument exception. We have these parameters right there, and that's it for that. So that's that if statement, and now we can take care of the rest. We can see if our value is less than 60, we are going to have a 0, 0.0. So we are going to have else if inside of here, we're just going to say, well, if our score is less than 60, we need to return 0, 0.0, which is where the double part comes in. We're going to keep going now. We are going to return if our score is between 60 and 62. For this, we're going to have an else if statement, and we are going to run this if our score is greater than 60. So if score is greater than or equal to 60, sorry. And it has to be less than 62. So we're going to say as long as score is less than or equal to our 62, we are going to be inside of here and we're going to return 0 0.7. So that's the end of that. Now, there is a lot that we're going to have to do here. However, we can see it's being incremented by 0 0.1 every single time. Same down here. So we're going to come back to that in a second. What we can do before we do that is do an else statement, the very last thing that we do here. So in this else statement, it's going to be if our value is greater than or equal to 99. And I'll just put this in a comment right here. So if our value is greater than or equal to 99, it's going to be the same thing, just as if it were up here. We are going to return 4.0. Now, we have to look at the last and arguably the most complex case. We have else if, and I'm going to leave a space here. The reason why I'm not putting brackets is because we just have one line of code in these statements. So else if our score is if it's between 63 and 94, that's our range. So as long as we have our score being greater than or equal to 63, or if I'm sorry, and because it's in a range, we have to have it in this range. So and if our score is less than or equal to 94, we're going to be inside of here. Now the complex part is that we are going to take care of all these different cases with this single case. Now there is a relationship to these. And the easiest way to think about it is if we are to grab a calculator. And let's look at 65 first, we have 1.0 right here. Well, we can't just divide 65 by 65 to get 1.0 because if we did that to like the 64, it would not work, right? Um, so what we can do is say, well, we know we need it to be 1.0. And if we take 65 and we make it a lot smaller, so 63 minus 63 from it, we're going to be left with a 2, which is a lot easier to manipulate. So um, this is just really kind of figuring this out. If we then multiply this by 0 0.1, it's going to give us a 0 0.2. And this is very close to 1.0. All we have to do is add 0 0.8 to it. And that's very simple. So if we look at the history, we can see what we've done so far. We have, well, actually it doesn't really show it, but um, we'll just write it out in the code. So what we want to return is where we have the score. Remember we looked at 65. 
minus 63. So that's what it's relating to. We want to make it smaller. And this is going to be in parentheses. After we do this, we are going to multiply it by 0 0.1. And that's going to get it to be 0 0.2, right? Because if we're just looking at 65, 65 minus 63 is 2. So we're going to have 0 0.2 here. And then to that, we can just add 0 0.8. And that's going to get us to 1.0. Now it's going to work the same with 64. We have 64 minus 63. That's going to give us one. We're going to have 0 0.1. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.9. So we can submit this and oh, we should end this line and also end the function. And then we can submit it after we have all these cases figured out. We've passed 12 out of 12, twist, 12 watt tests. And that is how you go about 4.15 get grade.